We are here with the lead sports anchor at CBS2 Chicago, Ryan Baker. Well, um, not the easiest round in the world, but no. tell us about that finish because that was pretty awesome. I tell you what, when you can uh, roll in, what did you say that was about a 40-footer? Minimum, minimum. Minimum? I'm sure. going to call it 50. 50-footer. 50 a 50-footer uh, with the uh, Barney Rebel bounce into the <laughs> hole. I'll take that on a tough par five, right? Seriously. Uh, the, the, the finish there on, on 18, so, I mean, uh, I'm leaving – Conway Farms with a great taste in my mouth, and, I, and after you having endured uh, 18 or so with me, you know that uh, uh, I thank you for your patience, but there's always that one shot that'll bring you back to the game of golf, and uh, I probably uh, scattered maybe eight or nine hits, maybe that sounds like a, a Cubs starting pitcher line, yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, you know what, I, I, I think I, there's enough there that lets me know if you, if you dedicate yourself yeah. to the game. Uh, it could be very uh, fulfilling and fun. And yeah. I, it, it's still that. It's frustrating. Yeah. It's all of those things. Fulfilling, fun, but frustrating. But that's that's what it is for everybody. Is that is that how you sum up golf? And really, what do you love about the game? Why do you, uh, why do you get out here and do it? Um, the challenge. The challenge um, to compete against yourself, against the course. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, certainly in my age, I mean, you know, I, I get paid to talk about sports, not, not to play sports at this yep. point. But this is a situation where... Uh, to, to try to test yourself and push yourself. And I think golf, for me, uh, really symbolizes what life should be like. Yep. And it's, it's a great test and exercise for me to be more patient, yep. to slow down, yep. to focus, uh, stay committed, yep. uh, all of those, to persevere, yep. and all of those things that I try to apply to my personal life. Yep. And not always successfully, but you come out here for 18 uh, and, and try to do that. And it, it certainly, it, it, it's a very good life lesson out here. And, I mean, this beats a bad day at uh, it's the CBS2 Broadcast Center. Sorry, yeah, guys. even walking on a 95 and humid day with, yeah. with some bugs flying around us. So the big boys will be here for the mm -hmm. BMW Championship. Yeah, get that out of, out of the way. Yeah. Here at Conway Farms, uh, does this just give you even more respect for what those guys do? Absolutely. And certainly after being at Cock Hill for so many years and, and how much more uh, tricked up and challenging they made that track. But yep. to come here, first of all, just visually, it's absolutely stunning. Yep. And I think they've done a fantastic job at the course. Um, you know, I, I don't envy those guys at all what they're going to have to do for four days. Yep. You know, after just struggling through one day here, walking around on this course in this heat, yep. I can't imagine it's going to be any cooler. Uh, maybe a little bit early September, but you never know. There's, there have been some 90 degree days right around Labor Day and after. So uh, it's certainly going to be a test of wills for uh, the pros when they come in here for the BMW. What do you say? What, to it. what do you say we get inside right about now? Uh, the 19th hole sounds really nice right Terrific. now. Ryan, thank you so much. All right.